All right, start looking for Subarus. Right there is a sedan. Yeah. And a three-door. Is the Opera House. Subaru sedan. Subaru sedan. Nice looking sedan. For sale. Check out the three-door. Subaru sedan. 25. 23, 25 miles in the city. Front wheel drive. There's the three-door. Whoa. It's Pippin. A, it's a three-door. It's like an RX that's not on crack. It's like a watered no down. Kit and a wing. It's a watered down three door. It's an unbeefed three door. Some more Subarus. Here we are, Jay Tunes and some of his Subarus. Yeah, I'm grabbing parts, man. I was gonna bring them back to you. I forgot about them. Oh man, I gotta ship them out Monday. They're sold already. Son of a bitch. All right, man. Where the hell you been? Working. Hey, now the deal's still with deal. That was the deal. That was the contract. That was in the contract. <laughs> oh, it smells good, Jim. I uh, just put them on so it'll be a little bit. Beer? Yeah, I'll have a beer. Yeah, I'll have one. All right. Meanwhile, I've seen old J-Dub. Coors Light. You uh, gonna sell me that car? Yeah. Will these beers done? Yeah. Damn, see what you did? Well, damn, Jim, you're letting her make a mess. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you're all filming mine, trying to grab it. I gotta try to get some parts for my car, Jim. I need to get front brake pads and rotors. Yeah, they'll put old police trying to arrest you. All right. Shut up. Hands on the hook. Yeah, just like that shit. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Jeez! Skip was down. here looking for you. I, uh, you gotta redap the plug, so I gapped him up. Down the road. Party. <laughs> Back up. So I went up and down the road again, you know. I sit down again, come back. I seen all the cruisers down there. You know, I'm looking around, I seen the cruiser pulls up to the, you know, he's waiting for me to go by, so I go by, you know, and I that safety belt work with you know, and I look back in my mirror, you know, this, all of a sudden I see them, you know, the lights come on, I pull on my drive, and all of a sudden, bam, I mean, he's on me, he's fucking in my drive, another one behind him, comes the Anna Cruiser. What the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck's going on? Yeah, so I, so, so I jump out of my truck, and he says, stay in your truck, I didn't tell you to get out. I said, damn, what's going on? <laughs> he said, turn around, put your hand on the door. You know, I turn around, and he said, don't turn around, put your hand on the door. I said, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, you live here? And I said, well, yeah. He says, uh, can you prove that? I said, no, I can't. Well, I said, my wallet's sitting on the counter in the house. I said, I've been working on my car, getting a set to go to our meet next week, trying to you know, fine tune some things, running up and down 25A. I said, I didn't hit nothing, or no kid or ball or anybody's hand or nothing. I said, I turned around on that tower of steel down there and I'd come around and come back. He said, uh, you live here? And I said, yeah. And the other cop says, well, you just come from Sydney. And I said, no, I didn't. I said, I came from here, and I turned around back, and I said it back this way. You were in Sydney. I said, no, I wasn't. Trying to get you. Yeah. You was in Sydney. Yeah, the <laughs> I said, there ain't no other blue brat in Sydney. There's only two know that I know in Shelby County that are blue, and I was not in Sydney. What well, do you say that? He probably he didn't said, like that. He said, well, you come from Sydney again. I said, no, I didn't. And the cop said, well, now don't turn around. Don't turn around. Put your hands back on the door. Yeah, <laughs> These guys had their fucking hands on their guns, man. And they was ready. Oh, what so the told fuck? Them, I got a fucking machine gun in my garage, you pigs. You know, my hands are all greasy and dirty. He said, yeah, I said, it looked like you've been working. I said, yeah, I've been working on the truck here. All day long, on and off, this and that. He says, uh, well, we got a call that you were stalking some lady down there. She was driving up and down the road, and the car was spitting and coughing, you know. <laughs> I said, well, yeah. It was spitting coughing a bit. I, it, so that's what I'm trying to fix. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to take me to jail? I said it, said it runs pretty good now. Yeah, you were driving up down 25A and she called us and you were stalking her. <laughs> Some old lady probably yeah. had nothing better to do. I said, well, I said, I didn't turn around anybody's driveway. I said, turn around. And I'm thinking, you know, when they, you know, when they pulled in, I guess, I'm like, what the fuck? You know, well, so put your hands on the door. Yeah, I said, what the hell? <laughs> turn around. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Jeez! Right? What's going on? The goddamn sirens are there and the goddamn lights <laughs> Two of them behind each other. Yeah! Another one was pulling. Yeah! <laughs> I said, well, damn! I said, I don't drive up and down 25A anymore. His wife said, you can do that. I said, 
Well, hell no, because you'll be at my house now with stalkers. I said, then I'll go up and down the interstate. And he said, no, I said, better not do that either, because we're going to call on that too. <laughs> I said, Jesus Christ. I said, I'll just go in and shut everything out, shut the fucking doors in. Right? Can't even go nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, is this thing running good? I, uh, that reminds me of a hatchback, these doors. The, uh, yeah, I like the timing thing. was off a little bit. That bolt was loose it? on the uh, distributor bolt. Well, when, when I changed the coils, I marked the wires, you know, tape, mm -hmm. so because there's a lot of them going to it. And I must have mixed one up because I put it all back together. And I said, then the tack didn't work. The yellow wire went to the other side of the coin. Okay, yeah, yeah. And so, I, and I thought, okay, then I mixed <coughs> them up. I know black was positive. Um, cleaned out the Weber carb. I got to clean, you know, this is a can in, and I cleaned it up, oiled it up. And it was a little dirty, not bad. You got to put tiny. full size in there. Well, you can't because all these these hoses and shit here. Mm. That's actual brat spare tire to come with the one from Tom, so I stuck it in there and I, the one I had in the back, I stuck back in that one. Yeah. And the AC works good and cold. Leaks a little bit here? of oil. Leaks a little bit of oil. What's this red wire here? That's like a throttle return spring was tied up to that. And this wasn't set right. And this wasn't even hooked up to linkage because it come from Arizona, see? Well, they're hot all the time. Yeah, well, they didn't need no choke on it. No. Though. So Tom came down, hooked it, thinking he it hooked would it all up. set it on its own anyway or something. I took, I just added that Excel coil to it. Run I, better now? Uh, than the regular coil, I, yeah, wait till it cools off and then I'll fire it up again. But boy, it, it starts up a lot better than what it did before. Man, before you have yeah. pump and crank and pump and, geez, it's a pain in the ass and, and um, we put a new oil pump in it too, to, to replace the seals in there. Mm -hmm. The housing behind it's real, real soft metal, real soft. And the bolts go in the back. It's real soft metal. We were, we boogered it up, but yeah, and we put a different uh, oil pump in it. And we replaced the uh, oil pan gasket. Um, a lot of the stuff was already done to the car. I mean, new stuff. You take, pull out the. Pull out the uh, PVC, there to and it was clean. All that. Yeah. Okay. We added a starter to it, which was bad. I knew that when I bought it. The fuel line here was had a split in it. The rear rear diff fluid was pretty nasty. But uh, all the things were new on it. I mean, yeah, they took care of know, it. These are the original belts. See these hoses? Shouldn't these hoses be a little bit? They don't fit real snug. And I, Maybe just get you a one. hose clamp and put on there so it Now I got a question. On these little little bolts here, can you snug those up? Those actually clamp they're... down against the valve cover. If you tighten them down too you much. It's like or... a bolt. Yeah. The... But if you put them too tight, you, you'll screw it up. So you kind of collapse in the top of the valve cover because that's how it So you just snug the them, you don't torque them. Yeah, you just snug yeah, them enough to snug them down. So they don't back I haven't checked those ever since that pull over this stock and I just parked it and I. Uh, set the timing at, you're supposed to set them at point 20, right, on uh, E80 ones? Uh, eight, eight degrees say. for carbureted, between 10 and eight degrees. Oh, between 10 and eight degrees? Yeah, but you can bump them up a little bit. That's, oh, I they just do that for emissions, more or less. I set it at eight point 20. Degrees. Maybe that's why it's not running yet good. Shit. i uh, put it down to eight. Oh, yeah, eight degrees and then plus or minus two degrees. Eight? Oh shit! Okay, that's what manual it was set and at. automatic ignition timing, which that's your distributor cap. Yeah. What is it? Oh shit! So it says eight degrees oh, plus eight or degrees. minus two degrees. So you can you don't have to be right on eight. You can go to nine, or you can go down to seven. I gotta set at point twenty. That's a little high, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shit! I have to get the timing gun out. Okay. No wonder it's running crappy. Okay.